What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We're giving away 15 Father's Day packs away, guys, with this break here. 2022 Panini Absolute Baseball 10 box case break. Random teams number five. Excuse me. And then at the end, guys, uh, we'll be uh, randomizing the names. Top three get five packs each, right there, guys. So here we go. Bronx is giving me San Diego. Hopefully, man. Hopefully. So here's the dice roller. Here's the customer names right there. And here are the teams. Let's go, man. For you right there. Padres. Roll. Six, four, ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Matthew, down to Tyler. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, instead of like giving you like the normal like you know baseball pat uh, sweet spot autograph, they're giving it to you in a booklet now, basically. Dodgers down to the Tigers. So Matthew went with the Dodgers as well as the Cubs. Ben with the Rockies. Rex, you have the Padres. Damn, Rex got him. Maybe he's watching though. Maybe he'll make a trade. Bill with the White Sox, Eric with the Blue Jays, Kenneth with the Twins, Greg with the Mariners, Bennett with the Yankees, Matthew with the Reds, Brock, you have the Red Sox, uh, Carlos with the Pirates, Nick with the Brewers, Ariano with the uh, Marlins, Nick with the uh, Cardinals, Richard with the Guardians, Austin with the A's, Eddie Harden with the Mets, Barry with the Diamondbacks, Nick with the Phillies, Kevin with the Giants, Eddie with the Nationals, Texas Rangers for Kev, Ariano with the... Orioles, Barry Roberts, you have the Rays, Tyler with the Royals, Emma with the Braves, Kevin with the Astros, Kenneth, Ken Bond right there with the Angels, and Tyler with the Detroit Tigers. So if anybody does want to make a trade, um, I'll give you guys a quick minute. Uh, I don't know if Rex is here, Brock. He usually is watching, but... Oh, Shannon, what the hell, man? 
Hawks, Nuggets, Suns. Alrighty then, guys. I'm going to close it. Oh, is that right, Tyler? I know there's a Bobby Witt, like, dual relic, though, or something like that. There's something wet in here. I might remember that one of one what product was that was that like an optic no well I guess optic would be a gold vinyl right Also, too, guys, just, just a little FYI for you guys, just as the people watching the break, re-watching it later. Uh, we ran out of those normal 25-count slider boxes, so in the meantime, I think we're supposed to get them by tomorrow, if not Monday. This wouldn't go out anyways until Monday or Tuesday anyways, but in the meantime, I think I'm going to probably put all the booklets together in as many of these as possible. And then, obviously, when the shipping team sorts it out, when we have the booklets, it'll go individually. But if you have multiple... Look out, you might get multiple in one of these bigger ones. Um, but just let FY. Alright, so there you go. Contender, so contender's optic then, right? Because I don't remember it. I would assume it had to be a gold vinyl if it's gold. Because contenders, I guess, I guess it could be a gold ticket, right? Alright, we got Brandon Crawford. Josiah Gray. Brent Honeywell. To 199. Fastest scroll through the names and teams I've ever seen. Uh, like, what do you mean, Corey? Like me announcing them? Richard with this, Richard with that, Corey with this. Greg Dietrich. I also left it up on the screen for like at least a couple minutes for you guys to see. 
Cubs right there. Adam. Therefore, the Philadelphia Phillies. Hastily. Oh man, I'm going one through one dose. We need a couple of these bad boys. I think I remember that. Well, whatever. Come to it or not. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> uh, it is, uh, Corey. I usually don't like to pause my videos because uh, there's been a couple times where I un forget to unpause it. So I just kind of just let it roll. So if you're watching the replay, people kind of just skim through it anyways. I, I, don't, I don't really like to pause my videos too much. I only pause them if it's like... A big big mixer and like people want to trade and take a little while so if you're watching the replay you got to see your list of teams for like three minutes probably Brian Reynolds to 99 and we got Christian Pache one of one how about that Woo! majestic tag I don't know if that says 150 maybe. A little button. Uno of Uno. Very nice. Sweet. It's more of a one maybe. It should be DJ. Uh, it might still just be uploading. Remember, we do have a DVR effect, so um, if you don't want to wait for it to upload, then I would uh, just re scroll back and rewind back. But it looks like it says processing the HD version, so it should be posted already. Nice Christian Pache, though, for the Oakland A's, Austin Caruso. And then we have a out of 99, Connor Siebold for Boston. So there you go. That is for the Red Sox and Brock. There you go. On the board. Like I said, I want to put these in these boxes for now. Keep them in here just so that way they're protected in there. Oh, yeah, no, no problem, Corey. Yeah, everybody does it a little differently. I like to just speed through the names. I mean, technically. I kind of don't like to say every single name in team because obviously you guys can just see it yourselves. But it's just a habit that we've had here when I first started breaking. Same thing with Joe. Like we just always called out your guys' names in teams. And if most people actually want to hear it rather than see it, you know. I don't know. I feel like I feel like most people honestly don't really pay attention to every single detail when we're breaking. So sometimes I'll say Clay and Kershaw, but someone doesn't even know right what, what team that is. Right? They're just wanting to get into a break. They're just like, what? How come you don't say the team name? Dodgers. That's all they really care about. But, yeah, I don't really like to unpause my videos, so, or pause my videos. Ooh. Kaboom. Juan Soto. Kaboom. But no worries, man. There's always little things we can improve on. But I personally just rush through the list in the sense that, like, I just say your names really fast, and then I just leave it up for, like, a minute. And that is for the Nationals, Eddie. Then we got Eduardo Cabrera. Gabriel Urias for Cleveland. And don't ever, don't ever feel bad, Corey, to ask what, I, what team I have. I can always tell you in the break, too. Jake Berger, signature series to 50. Reese 
Kind of. And remember too, guys, we do have a DVR effect. So if you feel like you missed a break or you want to go back and rewatch something that you might have missed before uploading the video, um, like I said, it's, it's it's like a DVR. You just click the red dot and you can scroll back to probably it's right when we first started the live stream and catch up, you know, just in case you ever miss anything. Like that idea? That's nice, right? Do you want Carl to stand to 149? That should easily pay for the spot. Kaboom's probably won't go for as much as like officially licensed kabooms like basketball and football, but it'll easily pay for a couple spots in the break. Just like Gray to 149. Brandon Lau. And then we got Matt Verling for Philly to 99. Don't worry, Corey. I'm a man of the people, man. If you need me to go back and show you your team, I most likely will. In case you miss it. Whoa. Middle box fell. Wow, really? Well, then I take that back then. The kabooms are selling for great money. I was thinking some of these kabooms probably only like two, three hundred dollars. But again, two, three hundred dollars for a product that's only like 150 bucks a personal and a random team's only like 57 dollars. I mean, you're making great money. But yeah, if they're going for like 700 almost, five, six, seven hundred dollars, dang. It's definitely worth it. I wonder what the Wander Franco goes for then. Go look that up for me, Rex. Wander Franco kaboom. That's what I really want to pull. I pulled almost the same couple of people. I pulled like Soto a couple times already. I pulled Freddie Freeman, I think. I pulled a Mookie. Stan Musil. Brandon Bilak. $1.89. For Houston. TJ. And Matt Manning to 199. Wanders in the 1K range? Wow, that's a great, great return right there. It's like 10 boxes worth almost. Yo Hodges for Brooklyn. Cooper Criswell to 199 for the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Ken Bond with that one. For Minnesota, Curtis Terry. And we have a Tony Santana. To two ninety nine for Cincy. Did this one not have a book? Usually, it's at least one per box. Because I only have two books in here. Sorry guys, there's something in my eye. It's bothering me.
Freddie Freeman. Chris Bryant to ninety nine and a AJ Alexi. Yeah, well it's his rookie, Corey. Franco's a rookie. Well Trout's it's probably like his I don't even know how many times to make the booms already. Patrick, Isaiah to ninety nine for New York Mets. Bartolo Colon to 99. I have yet to pull any Wander Franco autographs, though, I must say. Andy Pettit, gold! Iconic Inc. 8 out of 10 for the New York Yankees. Just going to Bennett's. B e. Page. And Riley Adams for Washington. Eddie with that one. All right, we have a little redemption here. Is he redemption? Oh, it's marks of fame. Let's see. Wow, but it's Lou Bob though. Marks of fame, Chicago White Sox. That's going to Bill. Well, you just have to remember this, Corey. There's only one rookie class, right? Only one rookie year. So for Wander, per se, his his best cards are always going to be 2019 when he was a Bowman's first, just just that Bowman product specifically, and then 2022 anything rookie wise. Because after that, it's a second year, third year, and he's just a veteran. Which again, if he keeps it up, his cards will still sell well, but it'll never reach the peak of what his rookie cards go for. So, just got to think of it that way. Like, that's the only reason why it's going for more than uh, Mike Trout. If it wasn't his rookie year, maybe it doesn't. You know? But it's like, go back to Mike Trout 2009 Bowman first, or 2011, and go see how much those Mike Trouts go for, rookie cards and graded card autographs per se, compared to what they go for in 2021, 2022. You know, over 10 years later. There's only ever going to be one rookie kaboom for Wanda Franco that's going to be in this product, you know? Hip Parade Fillers full now. Nice. Very nice. Another Bartolo Colon, that's Anaheim Angels edition. And then we have a Wander Franco to 99. Rookie class number. It's the only insert I've been able to pull. AJ Alesky. Yes, technically second year in the MLB, but his rookie class is 2022. It's because they, I think with baseball is a little bit different. Uh, Thomas there for the uh, Mets. With, 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 with the hobby, it's a little different because Tops couldn't predict that they were gonna, he was going to get called up before 2021 started, so they weren't going to put his cards into production until they knew uh, he was a rookie. But it's easy, it's easy to do it for football. Football, basketball, 
you know, sports like that, you don't have to worry about the timing because when you're a football, when you're a rookie draft pick in the first round, you're probably most likely playing that year unless you get injured. For baseball, right, these guys get drafted at 17, 18 years old or get, you know, flown over internationally to play on a team. It's not like the day they get drafted is the day they're, they're going to be a rookie. It might take them a couple years. So in a sense, for you're right that this would be a second year kaboom for him, but it's not because this is his rookie class year. Ooh, Ronald Acuna Jr. Fifty-three out of seventy-five, and then it, of course it'll have the RC right on the kaboom compared to another year's worth next year, years after that. Atlanta Fal oh, sorry, Atlanta Falcons. Atlanta Braves, Emma. And Christian Walker. 1099. That's for Arizona, Barry Roberts. Iconic Inc. 17. Ty France. Which again, baseball is not my strongest. Let's uh, look at the check this really quick. At Seattle Mariners, it looks like. Card number 17 to 189. Mariners, that's going to Greg Dash. I know what you're trying to argue, Corey, but what makes it more expensive and more desirable is that it has the RC. That's all that matters. You can have a 2020 Bowman Platinum autograph and have a you know 2019 Bowman Baseball first, and that's always going to outsell it. You know, like I said, with baseball is a little bit trickier, and like hockey because you just can't really predict when they're going to be rookies, and for baseball in, in general. They want to start producing cards of these guys when they're not even in the league yet. They want to have prospect cards out there already for them. Just just for money purposes, right? But RC is always going to make it more expensive. That pretty much just closes that argument, you know? So no matter how many Kabooms he's had before. I don't even think he was in the Kaboom sets beforehand, to be honest. But, because... If he wasn't a rookie, they weren't putting him in much. He was probably only in certain products where he's a prospect. Drew Rasmussen to 189, and they would specify, like, prospect. Siri, patch autograph. Jameson Talion. To 99 for New York Yankees. Bennett with that one. Mookie to 149. Judge. Aren't the Yankees like on fire right now? To 149. Bo Bichette for Toronto. Toronto Blue Jays, that is Eric. And Matt Manning to 99.
Yeah, but to be honest, Corey, unless Wander, like let's just say Wander Franco for some reason bombs this year, he just totally is crap. <laughs> let's just say. And it's time for Panini next year. Well, I don't know if you know if they'll have baseball. Let's just say they did. It's time for them to choose which veterans in the league we want to put at Kabooms. He actually might not be part of that list because he didn't have a good season or just isn't playing the same. The only reason why he was featured in this is because he's the big rookie chase. But it doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to be in next year's and the years after that. I mean, like I said, you see the same names like Soto, Mike Trout, Acuna... You know, because every year they're still one of the most popular players and produce every single year. You know? But not necessarily, you have to assume that he's going to be in every single product every single year. Um, in the same subsets, in the same short prints. Because that only, only happens, like, you know, just this once, you know? So, like, all the, like, let's say Color Blast and Prism this year for football, it was, like, all the big rookies, right? All the quarterbacks, the running back, running uh, receivers, Robbie Ray. But next year, it won't be like that. It'll probably only be the top rookies in the color blast year, right? And then, if they had a great first year, and they're promising for their second year, then they'll put, you know, Trevor Lawrence again in a color blast, and they'll put Mac Jones in a color blast. But that doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to be in the same subset every single year. Otto Lopez. Yeah, and the one thing for you then, perfectly, Corey, is that veteran stuff just doesn't sell as well as rookie stuff because everybody just wants rookie years for a personal collection or personal investment. That's more down the road, right? All these people that are buying up all these Justin Herberts, Joe Burrows, any rookie from the last couple of years are spending premium monies because they're trying to invest into it potentially and hold on to it for the long run. So that's, and you have to also remember too that a lot of these veterans don't, won't be selling for as much is because they've been signing for years upon years upon years. And when you sign too much, that's when your auto prices really go down. I mean, look at the difference between like, let's say, Tom Brady who only signs about five to ten cards in most products. That's it. And then you have someone else like I don't know, Payne Manning out there. That's like in every single product and signs to like out of fifties and ninety nines. You know. The autograph value is gonna just go down in price. So for people that obviously, you know, try to argue like, man, these guys should be selling for way more. They should. Don't get me wrong, but it hurts that they sign in every single product. You know, Barry Sanders and all these older legendary veterans. Bo Bichette, just to throw a football out there as an example. Jake Myers, one out of five. Oh, man, that's going to be a great patch. Wow, look at that patch for Houston. Look at that. That is a patch. And that's one thing I do love about Panini. It may not be licensed, but all their patches are definitely player-worn game-used. And they really give you great patches. So they go Jake Myers. That is for Houston. And Kev. There you go, man. Great patch. So I was able to put almost most of the booklets in here. So we'll leave those there. What I'm saying is though, card is that like, <laughs> like uh, there's only just one rookie year. So after that, every other card is gonna sell well if they still continue to play great. And you know, but they'll never be the same price as what it is, the rookie class. So anything Wander Franco 2023 will never be worth as much as 2021s. Now of course you might get a one on one 2023 comparing to like, you know, another product. Yeah, it's gonna sell for more. But actually, Steve Birch is. It's perfectly, kind of perfectly said it. What do you think is going to be worth more, a 101 rookie or a second year 101? It's going to be the first year. If it's the exact same card, exact same everything. Ooh, by Storm. 
Wander Franco. Rookie will always be better than anything else. Or at least sell for anything else. Better than anything else, I should say. Carlton Fisk. I can't compare either, like, Trout to Wander Franco either. That's like oranges to apples. Wander Franco may be selling for more as a kaboom right now, but if there was, like, a rookie Trout kaboom, let's go back to that class and that year with Trout's a rookie. Jackson Coar for Kansas City. And then see what those Trout kabooms go for back in 2012 if they had some, you know, as an example. And then we can compare what sells, what sells for more, a Trout rookie kaboom or a Wander Franco rookie kaboom. That's more of the argument. Roger Clemens to 149. And a... Well, I thought that was gold. Out of 75. Max Kranich for Pittsburgh. Nice color match, though. <laughs> no, I, I know what you're saying, Corey. I just don't think you understand what I'm trying to come with. But it's okay. Out of 25 for Philadelphia. <laughs> 23 out of 25. And Brett Honeywell to 189. It's okay though, man. That's for open. There's no hockey today, huh? Are they? Are they? I think they're busting. Um, they're busting like a three-day in between, right? I thought hockey would have been tonight. What a bummer. Byron Buxton. Corbin Burns, extreme team. We have a 52 out of 99, Ryan Mountcastle and Cedric Mullins. And to 99, Riley Adams for Washington. Cruz O'Neill. Ty, whoa. Ty France to 75, iconic game. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that, that, exactly, Corey. Because it's a rookie set compared to a second year 30. What you're saying is that you don't understand why that's it. I mean that that's that's it. <laughs> that's basically why. Eric Fetty. If that's something that you don't care about, though, Corey, that's perfect, right? Because if you just want like a water Franco kaboom, don't buy this year's kaboom. Just buy next year's if he has one, you know. It's gonna go for a lot less. And that's also the main reason why they continue to still, you know, create products every year. 
and use the same players over and over again is that not everybody will be able to afford, right, that one rookie class a year for X amount of – for whatever player you're chasing. But, you know, for collectors, it's like, well, I can't afford anything Mike Trout rookie year. Right? I can't. 2011. But I can afford 2020 Trouts, 2023 Trouts, whatever the case may be. And to me, an autograph is still an autograph. A patch autograph is still a patch autograph. I don't really care for it to be a rookie. But that's just more for the long-term investment. But some people desirably just rather have rookie stuff rather than second, third-year stuff. By Storm. Juan Yipes. And to 50, that's Josh Lowe for Tampa Bay to 50. Wow, we only seen one kaboom in this one. My first couple cases I did of this, we had two kabooms. Now, it's like the last couple two. Um, you know, last couple, last couple are freaking been only one. Ronald Acuna Jr. to 149. Oh man, no more kabooms. Shane Bass. We have a absolute ink for the Dodgers, Victor Gonzalez. Luke Williams. Last case, Joe Bro had no kabooms? Oh man. I mean, I was a little lucky then <laughs> with you guys. I remember the first like couple absolutes, we were pulling two kabooms in every case. It was great. The last couple that I've done, there's only been one. Colton Wong. Although this one did have a one on one, so I guess it kind of does help too. Remember those show times where I was pulling a bunch of show Otanis? It was like back to back. So great boxes. Alrighty then guys, so again, like I said, we'll distribute these out and put these in, you know, like I said, its own individual slider boxes when we get that shipment in. So those will all be there. But overall, really, really nice. <laughs> there you go, c -car. yeah. Yeah. It's just all about the more value of it, that's all. You're correct on all what you're saying that, like, what's the difference? Like, I can, I'm, if I can get another year's one, then, but it's for the resale value of it. Just like Steve's saying, right? If he had a one-on-one -on -one rookie year Curry autograph, uh, he'd probably be a millionaire. I'm mean, just saying as a, as a joke, I just say that. It's a millionaire. It's a million dollar card, but because it's a second year, it's probably only half a million. Or something crazy like that, you know? Whatever the case may be. Soto, there was that one of one. But for a collector, it doesn't really matter. I mean, don't get me wrong. Collectors also still wish they had that rookie year because they know in the long run, when they want to get rid of it, they're going to get rid of it for some great money. But exactly. See, we solved it. That's basically it, though. All right. So there you go, guys. Appreciate it. Now let's give away some uh, uh, Father's Day packs. So, top three names get five packs each, guys. Top three names. So, I think I already had this ready to roll here. Here we go. Roll it. Four and a five. Five and a four nine times. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And four and a five nine. Emma, Ariano, and Matthew Wood, congratulations. You guys are each getting uh, five Father's Day packs ship sealed to you guys. So appreciate it, guys. I did post up another one if you guys want to do run it back a little bit later tonight. 
Uh, we have at least one more case worth. Uh, it seems that uh, this filler sold out, which would unlock the uh, hip parade dual case break. So we'll be doing that next. So appreciate it, guys. And uh, let's continue to get some more breaks in jazbeescasebreaks.com.